a line may be scheduled for patrolling for various reasons. For example, lines that go through heavily wooded areas may be patrolled after a storm because of frequent problems caused by falling branches. Or, lines in areas that are susceptible to erosion may be patrolled from time to time to ensure that the ground around the poles hasn't washed away. Regardless of when or why you're patrolling, there's always the potential for danger. Circuit problems, whether expected or unexpected, can change a normally safe setting into a potentially deadly one. For example, under certain conditions, a downed power line may still be energized. And if the line is touching another object, such as this metal guardrail, that object could also be energized. This brings up a safety precaution that should be observed when you're patrolling a line. That is, that you should assume that all lines and equipment are energized, and you should handle them like they are energized. If you remember anything about patrolling lines, Remember this, when you go out looking for trouble, you may very well find it, so be prepared for it. The problems you can find on a distribution line are endless. There are wire problems, pole and hardware problems, equipment problems, problems caused by animals, the list goes on. Let's look at some examples of the kinds of things you may find when patrolling. One of the more noticeable problems you'll find is a downed line. A line can come down for a number of reasons. Here, a tree branch fell across two phases of a circuit, creating a phase-to-phase -phase short. The short heated up the center phase until it burned through and fell to the ground. In this example, two phases pulled out of their sleeves, possibly during heavy winds. Distribution lines can also be brought down by ice or snow or any number of other causes. Sometimes when patrolling, you'll find damaged poles or pole hardware. Here, an insulator broke and the line fell onto the cross arm, burning both the line and the cross arm. A problem like this could be easy to miss at night. Here, current tracked across the insulator to the insulator bolt and set the pole and cross arm on fire. Not every problem that you find is going to need immediate attention. For example, this broken cross arm brace doesn't have to be replaced right away if there are more severe problems on the line that need to be found and corrected. This means you may have to make judgments on the severity of a problem. Does it need to be corrected right away or can it hold off until later? If it doesn't have to be fixed now, it's good practice to note the problem and where it's located so that it can be scheduled for repairs. 